Wow, I'm glad most of you made it just before the bell. So last week we got up to this point. We finished talking about how to use the correct APA format for journal articles. Uh, and we did a little practice to make sure you knew where everything was. Uh, and so you can check which elements you were not yet familiar with. Now let's mention some issues that you might have when looking for this information. Sometimes when you click on a result, you will get a page that is not from a journal. It's from a database. Um, the databases usually um, will, if you remember like on this page, you have things like journal home, browse journal, journal info, right? For a database, you will not have those choices. Um, so if this is the page that you get to, it will not have all of the information that you need. So for example, this is the journal title here, and it's a shortened version. The, it looks like the full name of this journal is the Journal of Affective Disorders, um, but you can't, you don't see the full name. Uh, then you have the, the date, 2017, January 1st. Then you have a number 207 that looks like the volume number. Then you have 251 to 259, which looks like the page number. And then you have the DOI, which is not a link, you have to type out the link yourself. Or you can go here, there's a, a DOI in the link version. Right click, you uh, copy link. Uh, but if you want to write, if you want to make sure that your citation is absolutely correct, you need to find a link to the full text here. Full text links. So instead of looking at the database, uh, find the full text. And when you click there, it will bring you to this page. Um, now, uh, because uh, lots of these journals are owned by only a few companies, these companies put their journals together into databases. This database is called Science Direct. We don't care about the database name. Ignore that. That is not part of what you want. Um, Elsevier is the publisher name, the company that publishes the journal. Again, for a journal article, you don't need to know that. But here, finally, you have the full journal title, Journal of Affective Disorders. And you can check that 207 is the volume number. It is uh, 2017, and the page numbers are there. So remember always to find the link to the journal article, the full text of the journal, uh, to check this information. Why is there another quiz? What's this quiz for? I kind of forgot, sorry, hang on. Ah. Right, so this quiz is asking you to write out the correct citation reference for this paper. So the hint is using the paper we used as the example before. Um, so, you know, take out a piece of paper and a pen. I'll give you seven seven minutes no no why am i giving you okay i'll give you five minutes uh see if you can write out the correct citation information for this paper okay let's compare answers i'll tell you now what the answer is l high jd dvorak rd levine jc and hall brian j problematic smartphone use a conceptual overview and systematic review of relations with anxiety and depression psychopathology. 
Journal of Affective Disorders, comma, 207, comma, so there's a 2017 in front, sorry, uh, and then 251 to 259 period web address. Are you ready? Can we talk about this? So the names. Always last name first, comma, first initial period, space, second initial period. And before the last name, there is an ampersand. It's like an end hall. Actually, hang on. Hmm? Yeah, you don't need the for the date. You only need the year. There are some other uh, places where you do need the full date. We're going to talk about that later today for a, an academic journal article. You only need the year. So the year is in parentheses, period outside of the parentheses. And then in this case, the title is correct. You can just copy and paste. Uh, and then at the end of the title, period. Uh, then the journal name is also correct, but you have to add italics. Uh, and the italics continue into the volume number. The italics only end after 207. So the first comma here is italicized, and the second comma here is in Roman. Then you have the page numbers using an N dash in the middle. Period. And then the link. If you got this all correct, please raise your hand. If you missed one part, raise your hand. If you missed two parts, raise your hand. OK, good, close, you're getting there. Um, and then finally, if it takes more than one line, remember to use hanging indentation. Right, the first line is standard, and then every next line is indented. So now you know what you're dealing with. Now, did you notice every quiz, I have given you a hint. If you know what to look for, you can copy the same format and just replace the content. In fact, you don't need to memorize the format. You only have to notice which elements you are using, and you can look up an example and just copy the format from the example. OK, what's next? Right. Uh, so that is the individual reference when you have one journal article. But the list of references will have more than one thing. So what order should you use when you build your list of references? The answer is not the order in which they appear. You have to put your references in alphabetical order and the first letter in the last name of the first author or the first word in the entry. Now, uh, over the years, as I have um, advised on some of your senior theses, I have discovered that some people do not exactly remember the order of the alphabet. Uh, so if you are one of those people, uh, when you find group members or when you write your research essay, uh, please double check the order. Now, if 
the if you have two entries that begin with the same letter, you look at the second letter. So in this case, Lochner is L A. Lovell is L O. O comes after A, so first Lochner, then Lovell. Even though Lochner is later and Lovell is earlier, we go by alphabetical order. If um, I think we're going to talk about this next slide. Yes, if you have the same. OK, so if you have two papers. By two different authors, but they have the same last name. You keep going, compare the next letter. If you have two papers by. The same author. If one paper has different co-authors than the other paper, then you compare the names of the first co-author. If one paper is by if two papers are by the same person, the first paper it has no co-authors, and the second paper has co-authors. You put the single author one first. And then the one with co authors second. If you have two papers by the exact same author or authors in the same order, here's what you do. So the author names, in order to do this, the author names have to be exactly the same in the same order. If you have a paper by A, B, and C, and then another paper by A, C, and B. These are two different authors. They are not the same. The order is different, so the authors are different. Same order, same authors, same order, and the spelling has to be the same. Some people in their careers will change names or change the way that they spell their name. So if the spelling is different, the authors are different, even if it's the same person. Does that make sense? I mean, it doesn't make sense, but do you understand? Right, so we're going by the spelling. If you have the exact same author, exact same spelling, exact same order, then you go by year. So this paper is in 2016. This one is, these are both from 2016. If this paper is by 2017, uh, then it would come second. Now, if they are the same year, like in this example, then you go by the first letter of the title. U comes before W. So this one comes first, this one comes second. The principle is the same, right? If it's the same, keep going. If it's the same, keep going. Keep going until there is something different. Now, because they are both in the same year, you have to separate the two years. Because remember, uh, oh God, we're going to go back really far. Nope. Remember, when you are writing your in-text citations, you give the name and the year. So if you have two papers with the same name and the same year, in your text, the reader has no idea which paper you're talking about. So you have to separate the two years. OK. So in this case, the paper that comes first is called 2016A. The paper that comes second is called 2016B. Then in the in-text citation, you can say uh, near Hayati parenthesis 2016A parenthesis, and we'll know that you're talking about the first paper. What happens if you have the same author, same date, and 27 different papers? That means you're using ChatGPT, and it's giving you fake references. I've never heard of that situation. 
OK, uh, and yeah, that, that brings us to also to ChatGPT. Last week I, I warned you, ChatGPT will not give you the correct format. But if you ask ChatGPT to give you references, it will give you fake references. Maybe the author is real. Maybe the journal is real. But if you go to the journal website, you will not find that paper. Sometimes it gets worse. The author is real. The journal is real. The article is real. But they don't belong to the same paper. The author is from this paper, the journal is for that paper, and the title is from a third paper. So you really should not use ChatGPT for this assignment in terms of the references. OK, so we've covered the basics, uh, but sometimes you will have special cases. Maybe something is missing, like there's no author, or there's no date, or there's no title. I've seen this, no title. Um, or something. Uh, here are a few so, uh, websites that can help you with that. If you want to cite something in an, a language that is not English, maybe in Chinese, uh, here's a site that can help you with that. In this class, I'm not going to make it too complicated. If you cite something in Chinese, you don't have to. OK, if there is an English version page, then you should use the information from the English version page. If there is not an English version page, I'm not going to ask you to translate. You can just use the Chinese and add the correct format onto the Chinese. So uh, like uh, italics or Roman, n dashes, parentheses, as long as those are correct, uh, you can cite Chinese if you want to. But in the middle of your essay, it, the words should still be in English. Now, if you use Wikipedia, Wikipedia itself, as I mentioned, is not an academic source. But if you do use Wikipedia itself as a source, there's a specific thing you have to do. Because we know that Wikipedia changes over time. People go on there and change things, add things, correct things. So you can't just copy the web address. You have to find one of the versions. So if you go to the top of the Wikipedia page, um, this is for the web version, not the mobile version. You can go to view history. I believe in Chinese this is uh, Li Si Yemin or something. You want to find the latest version, which is the version that you are looking at. And you can tell it's the latest version because current is not a link. You can't click on this because you're already looking at it. Um, then you copy the information for this version. You can click. OK, so first of all, for Wikipedia, you do have to know the specific date. So write down the date, 17 May 2022. Then you click and it will open up a version of this page where the link will not change. Every person who clicks on that link will go to this version and you will use that uh, URL, that web address. Uh, did I mention something about YouTube? No, I'll talk about YouTube later. Now. I know that these are new concepts for you. I know that uh, it seems very strange. There are so many details. I know that it's hard. So I'm going to again conference with you two or three times. So in the process, anytime you have questions or you're not sure, please, please, please talk to me. And I'll prove to you how hard this is if you're not sure. In this class, we have a few seniors. Right, so it's not easy. It takes practice uh, and always to double check. Yeah. 
Jesu. Questions? So the PowerPoint is on Moodle. If you ever need to review the ideas, you can always go back. Now I want to show you this. This is on page 13 of your handout. Throughout that PowerPoint, we have been talking about journal articles. Okay, which is, uh, I'm sure I can do this. Pushing. OK, so throughout the PowerPoint, we have been talking about journal articles, but there are many, many, many different kinds of sources. And this PDF includes the most common types of sources and gives you an example of each one. So again, you don't have to memorize everything. You only have to be able to recognize the different elements. So this is the one that we're familiar with, journal articles. Right, author initial, author initial, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and author initial, date, title, and then uh, explaining is the beginning of the subtitle. This is the beginning of the subtitle. Journal name, comma, volume number, parentheses, issue number, comma, page range, period, Link, DOI link. But there are many other kinds of sources. Uh, so for example, another one you might use is called the authored book. This is the, well, it's for any book, but academic books will also use this version. So the author part is the same. The date is the same, but then the title is already italicized. Uh, we mentioned earlier last week, that italics are used for complete works, ones and solving. A journal article is not a complete work because it is part of a bigger journal. Uh, I have brought a journal with me. This is a Chinese language journal. Um, so you, this is an academic Chinese language journal. Um, so if you want to see what an actual journal looks like, uh, not on the internet, but like in real life, uh, I'll pass this around later. You can take a look. Um, and this Chinese language journal also has an English version of the citation information. So if you cite something from that journal, you should use the English information. So a journal article is not a complete work. Therefore, the title of the article is not italicized. But a book is a complete work, so it is italicized. Um, so first word and uh, first word of the subtitle and any proper nouns are capitalized, the others are lowercase. Then you have the publisher, period. And because this is 2024, many books will also have a DOI link. Uh, so if there is one, include the link. You don't have to change lines. As it's a don't want natural line break. Another OK, so I want to point out something to you. The. Journal article format asks you to capitalize every important word in the journal title. This is the exception. This is the um, minority case. This is a minority case. In most cases, for example, uh, the book, the capital is only for the first words and proper nouns. Another kind of source, another kind of academic source you might use is called the edited book chapter. So the edited book is a collection of papers but it's not a journal, it's a book. This one is a bit more complicated because you have the chapter, which is written by somebody, and the chapter is part of a book, and the book is edited by somebody else. So there are two parts to this. First is the chapter information. Author, year, title, these are all the same. But then you have to talk about the book, First, you give the editor name. 
in this book edited by this person and this person. In this case, there are two editors. You'll notice that the name order is not reversed. First name first, last name last. And just like for the authors, before the last person, add the ampersand. There's the end of Fuha. But after the last name, you have to add this. Eds, capital E, and there's a period inside the parentheses. This means editors. If there's only one person, you only have to write ED. So uh, parenthesis, capital E, DS, period, parenthesis, comma. Then you have the book title, which is the same as for the single authored book. But before the period, you have to give the page range of the chapter. In this book, this chapter begins on page 11 and ends on page 26. So title, title, title. Back to Roman, Ziti. Parenthesis. More than one page, you, you write two Ps. If it's only one page, you write one P. So this is more than one page, PP, period, space, 11 and dash 26 parenthesis, then the period after the parenthesis. And then you have the publisher. And if there is a link, then you add the DOI link. Sometimes you might find a report. A report looks just the same as the book. Author, year. Italicized title in regular sentence case, not title case. But instead of the publisher, this is the organization that put out the report. As for the link, I, I don't care. If it's not a DOI link, I don't care if you add it or not. Just if you do add it, make sure the, the link is correct. Now, if the author is not a person, if it's like a UN report, like a WHO report, then the author is the organization. Look, report by individual authors, the organization comes near the end. But report by a group author, the organization is the author. After the title, there's nothing here. It has been moved to the front. Uh, you might want to cite a conference session. We talked about how academic conferences are considered an academic source. They are not the most trustworthy, but they are still academic. In this case, in the date, you also have to include when the conference began and when the conference ended. Not which day did the author present this paper? Uh, then you have the title of the paper. This time, this is a complete work. Uh, italicized. But before the period, you have to add square brackets, and write, this is a conference session. Capitalize the C, C and then the period. Then you have the name of the conference, comma, the city where the conference took place. If it took place in the United States, you have to add the state abbreviation. You can find this on Google. If it happened outside the United States, you don't have to include the county or province and then the country, and then period. And if you want, you can give the link. Dissertation, ah, this is something that you want to find. Masters and PhD, uh, master's theses and PhD dissertations. This only gives you an example of the dissertation, but the format is basically the same for a master's thesis. Author is the same, year. And then this is a complete work, so this part is just like a book. 
uh, you don't have to add the publication number. In Taiwan, we don't assign publication numbers to dissertations. That's just for US uh, dissertation. So it's a good But before the period, you do have to add the square brackets and tell us that this is a doctoral dissertation or that it is a master's thesis. Now I want to point something out. A master's thesis has an apostrophe, soyoge. It is not a master thesis. It is a master's thesis. Uh, comma, and then give the school, school name. And then you can end the square brackets, add a period. The next part is the database name. Now, you do have to pay attention to the database because in Taiwan, if you find a, a dissertation or thesis in Taiwan, it will probably come from uh, our national database. This is the database for theses and dissertations in Taiwan. So if this is where you find it, you do have to add the name National Digital Library of Theses and Dissertations in Taiwan. If this is not where you find it, you don't have to add the database. Um, OK, if you're looking at science or social science papers, sometimes you will find something called a preprint. Uh, I talked about how academic articles have to be reviewed and confirmed before they are published. Uh, but in the sciences and social sciences, the pace of research is much faster. So some authors, to make sure that other people don't steal their ideas, will put up their draft online on a uh, preprint database and people can leave comments. People can give them ideas and suggestions. And then after uh, revising a few times when they think it's ready, then they will submit the paper to a journal for peer review. So these preprint databases, um, whatever you find on there are technically not academic sources. But if you want to, you can still cite them. So this is the same as. Oh, we're going to get to that later, but this is the same as uh, like a, a report by individual authors, right? Authors, year, uh, italicized title. And then this is Sci Archive. This is the preprint database for psychology papers. And then you can add a link if you want to. Um, let's see, YouTube videos, if you cite a YouTube video. So if you do cite a YouTube video uh, and you include a quote, 如果你要从中引用, then, or 你要从中就是叫什么,直接引用,人文引用, you, then instead of the page number, you have to add the timestamp, 时间错记, from what time to what time. Uh, but if you just paraphrase the idea, um, you can still, Cite a YouTube video. So here's what this looks like. The first part for the author, this is the account name. Copy and paste exactly what it looks like. In uh, regular English, we do not capitalize the T, right? Above the noise should be capital A, lowercase t, capital N. But the account name capitalizes the T. So you should also copy the account name exactly the same. Period. Then you have the date of the video, the specific date. So year, comma, month, day. Then the title of the video. Here's the thing. I hate this example. It's very confusing. In this example, the title of the video includes a question mark. 
if the title of the video does, uh, if it ends with a period or it does not have ending punctuation, don't add the period here. Add the period here after you say that it's a video. Uh, and then give the site name, which is YouTube. Remember, it's capital Y, capital T. And then give the link. I think for YouTube videos, you do have to give the link. Otherwise, it could be hard to find. Now, here's the thing. I don't want you to give me this link. Instead, I want you to click share, 分享, and then copy that link. So for this video, the correct link looks like this. It looks very different, right? I want you to use the link that that looks like this. U2.be, blah, blah, blah. So um, let me show you how to find that. Okay, ran any random video. Here, share, 分享. Use this link. Oh, I'll, I might as well show you how to do the, uh, how to cite Wikipedia. This is a Wikipedia page. This main page changes all the time. So instead, click here, view history. You want the, I think you probably want the latest version unless you're doing some like archival stuff. Usually you want the latest version. So this is the date that you want, 30 April 2024. To get this link, click the date. And you will see that this link has some added information at the end, right? Old ID equals blah, blah, blah. So this is the link you want to use uh, if you're citing Wikipedia. OK, what else have we here? Web page, you probably are going to use this also. So a web page looks like a report by an individual author, but you have to give the full date. Year, comma, month, day. Title of the web page, article, in regular sentence case, italicized. And then the name of the website. So this website is just called How Stuff Works, and it looks exactly like this. So just copy the name of the website exactly how it looks. Um, web page on a news website, you'll notice looks exactly the same. So why does it give you two examples? Well, because when you're using this document, you're not uh, you're looking for the kind of source. So if you're looking at a web page for a news website, it may not occur to you to just use the web page version. Uh, so just to make sure you use the right one, this document gives you a separate entry for different kinds of sources. So again, uh, so again, name and name, year, specific date, title in sentence case italicized and then the name of the website. Sometimes, uh, that's not that's too complicated. I don't want to talk about that. Again, if you run into problems, uh, let me know. So yeah, there are all these different kinds of sources. Uh, here we have a, a press release, Gao. Here we have a blog post, Bulogu. A print newspaper article, online newspaper article, uh, print magazine, online magazine. Yeah, so this is in your handout. This is also on Moodle. It's on Moodle. It's on Moodle here, APA 7th examples. So if you need to double check, it's just here. OK, questions? Right, let's take an early break, come back at 2.45, and in the second half, we will practice 
different. Uh, we will practice writing the citation for different kinds of sources. Uh, it won't take 50 minutes, so the rest of the time. Um, you can start thinking about your research essay. What do you want to write about? Where will you look for information? If you have already started looking for information, what kind of information have you found? Remember, uh, you must have four different kinds of sources, and among those four kinds, at least two kinds must be academic. All right, let's take a break. OK, let's do some more practice. Uh, let's start with another journal article. Um, this one, this is a journal article published in. We have the information here. Hey. Here, this is the journal name. This is the volume number. It's called an issue number, but in APA, if there's only one number, it's the volume number. And you have the year, you have the DOI, uh, and then uh, you have the author here. This is the title. As for the page range, you have to check yourself. 51 to uh, Sixty one. So let's write that down because it's harder to find. Uh, it's it's fifty one to sixty one. OK, so how do we write this? We begin. With the authors. Here there's only one author. So you begin the entry, uh, last name first, the comma, H. Uh, this is a person with a Chinese name. Some people with Chinese names, uh, the middle name will also be a capital letter. If the middle name is also a capital letter, then the best way to write this would be like this, right? It's because you have the hyphen here and then both names are capitalized. But in this case, the middle name is a lowercase letter, so you don't need that. Then the year, what year was it? 2023. 2023, like that. Then the title. Uh, so every word in the title is capitalized. We do have to change that. So it's technology, comma, lowercase, post-humanism. That's not how you spell humanism. Zim, comma, theory, lowercase, colon. Beginning of the subtitle is a capital letter, and, and then you keep going with the lowercase with and then you have a person's name so these are also capitalized great then you have the journal title the journal name and the journal is called exposition uh, and then we can also remember this number 50 x position comma, 50, comma, uh, and then we said the page range was, yeah, let's just move to the next line, 51 to 61, period. Uh, and then you have the DOI link. I'm not going to copy out the DOI link. You know what it is. So that's how we cite this specific journal article. OK, uh, let's try the next one together. Here. Let's look where the information is. 
This is the volume number 138. This is the issue number number three. Title. Author. Um, journal title PMLA. Year. DOI. And the page range again, we have to check ourselves. 8192. 823. Let's write that down. Eight one nine two eight two three. OK. How do we begin? What what should we write first? The author, right? So which one? Anthony or Pim? I, I mean, which name first? Pim, good. Pim. Then then what what we do? Comma. A period. Good. Uh, OK, what's next? Sorry, I shouldn't do this to you. The next one is. The date. Right, so uh, what, what was the date? I can't remember. It was a uh, 2023 again. OK, so parenthesis. 2023. Parenthesis. Period. What's next? Good title. So active first word is capitalized. What about the next word? Should it be capital or lowercase? Lowercase. Good. And if you don't remember, you can come back and check. Right. Timing is capitalized. Matters is lowercase. So the second word is lowercase. Translation. Next line, remember to indent. Literacy in the literature class period. OK, what's next? We have the title and then after the title is the. Journal. Right. Right, so the journal is called. PMLA. It's not. Okay, there we go, OK, PMLA. PMLA. Comma. Uh, what's next? 138, right, the volume number. So these are all italicized. What's next? You sure? So in this one, it's one one two. And then what's next? The we had the volume number one one two. Then you have the issue number DG Chi. So here uh, and this is in parenthesis. The issue number is three. Parenthesis. OK, what's next? Good comma and then. Page range and we have the page range here. Eight one nine two eight two three and then the DOI, which I'm not going to copy out. It takes too much time. Uh, and you don't have to write out the DOI, right? It's already there. Just copy and paste and make sure you copy it correctly. OK, good. So those are journal articles. Let's do a book. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Let's do this book. Um, for a book, always go to the title page. The title page will have most of the information. Uh, and then after the title page will be the copyright page. And that's where you find the year and the edition, that kind of thing. Oh, it's a second edition. 
好烦哦，我不想要用，我不想用版本。Let's find another book. This one. Uh, okay, again, we go to the title page. So English books will often have a like a fake title page. This is not the title page. Uh, this is the title page. It has all the information except for the year. The year is on the next page, the copyright page. It says 2016. OK, let's check how to cite a book again. Authored book 10.2. Authors. Year. Italicized title. Publisher. OK, shouldn't be too hard, right? So in this case. Author. Hawks child, comma, a period, r period, year 2016, title in italics. OK, it's called Strangers in Their Own Land, and then colon before the subtitles, Mahar, and Ho Anger and mourning on the American is a proper noun, right, period. And then all of this is italicized. And then you have the publisher. The publisher is here, the new press, period. So that's how you cite a book. Questions? Let's do the next one together. Uh, this one. OK, so we have. Hang on. We have the title. We have the subtitle, we have the author. Oh, it's a translated version. I don't want to deal with translations. Uh, if you need to check how to cite a translated something, you can find it online. OK, so the year is also 2023. I guess I must have uh, found a lot of stuff from last year. OK, so we have the. The main title, the subtitle, the author. Uh, the year was 2023. Let's write that down. Okay. 2023. And then we have the publisher, Oxford University Press. That's I think that's all we need, right? Author, year, title, subtitle, publisher. Yeah, OK. So how do we begin? From the author, good. So which word should we write? Do we begin here or do we begin here? Good, we begin with the last name, Russell. And then what? You guys keep forgetting the comma. Comma and then G period. K period. Good, what's next? The year, 2023, parenthesis, then period. What's next? The title, good. So, barriers to entailment. Is that correct? It's not correct, right? Good, somebody spotted it. This should be lowercase e. 
Next. Subtitle. Hume's. OK, Hume's law. And other. Limits on logical consequence. Period. And this should be italicized. What's next? Publisher, good. And the publisher is Oxford University Press. So let's just, just write that. Oxford University Press. Is that it? Yep, that's it. We're done. Great. Um, so let's do one last kind of example. Let's do a book chapter. Let's do chapter one because it's closer. Uh, let's see. Nope. Oh yeah, yeah, that OK, so this is the title page of the whole book. Um, this is the year. These are the four editors. Contents, great, so that's we're going to do. Uh, the, the second one, the scientist and the philosopher. So we have preface, Shu one introduction and then the scientist and the philosopher. The author is on the right, Gary Feinberg. It says 15 and then it says the next one is page 25, but some books will always begin a new chapter on the right. So maybe the previous page is blank. So you do have to double check. In this case, we can see that one of the chapters, two of the chapters, a few of the chapters begin on even pages, Oshu Yi. So we know that in this book, each chapter begins right after the previous one. So we can use these numbers. The scientist and the philosopher begins on chapter 15, ends on chapter 24. We should really write this stuff down. Um, OK, this is going to be a real pain, so let's do it. Uh, Let's type it. So if we're looking at uh, the scientist and the philosopher, where do we begin? What do we write first? Let's check the uh, example. Edited book chapter. Author year title of chapter in editors book title book subtitle page range and then publisher so if we're citing the scientist and the philosopher where what do we write first which word gary or feinberg feinberg good so the guy's name is feinberg that's not how you spell that. Feinberg. What's next? Good, comma. And then the guy's name is Gary, so it's G. Uh, what's next? After the author is the year. Can't remember the year. Let's look for the year. 19 something. 1983, you see that top left? 1983. So 1983, parenthesis, period. What's next? Good, title of the chapter. The chapter is called The Scientist and the Philosopher. Uh, remember not to capitalize all the important words, just the first word and the Philosopher. Period. What's next? The. Now we're moving into the book, right? So we want. 
the editors of the book. Four people. Let's go one by one. The first one is Lee S. Common. So you have L dot S dot Common. The second one is Isaac Levy. So you have I Levy. The third one is Charles Parsons. So you have C Parsons. And before the last one, you have to add this. And last one is Robert Schwartz. So you have R Schwartz. Oh, sorry, I missed the uh, in in this book by these people. Uh, and you have to tell us who these people are. These are the editors. OK, what's next? Then we have the book title. Good. The book title is. How many questions is the title? Essays in honor of Sidney Morgan Besser is the subtitle. So uh, I can't italicize in this app. Pretend it's in italics. New Jiajuanzi How many questions? Essays in honor of Morgan. What's his name? So Sidney Morgan Besser. Uh. Sydney Morgan Besser. OK, what's next? Let's look at the example. We have the authors. Uh, the year we had the chapter title. We have the editors. We, we noted that they are editors. We have the book title. What's next? Pages, good. So we said that this was, uh, we can just look at the contents. Uh, 15 to 24, right? The next chapter begins on 25. So we do this, PP 15 to 24. What's next? It's a book. So we have to have the publisher. Let's look for the publisher. On the title page, it says nothing. So we go to the copyright page. Here, for further information, please address Hackett Publishing Company. So that's the publisher, Hackett Publishing Company. Hackett Publishing. Hey, Mr. Company. Period. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Good. Questions? Right. So for the rest of today, um, you can use this time to think about what you want to write and look for sources. Wait, oh, stop sharing. Yeah. Uh, so you can fo think about what you want to write, and uh, once you have a topic, look for sources. Uh, if you have any thoughts or doubts, you're always welcome to come and talk to me. Next week, we're going to have individual conferences about your topic and your sources. What have you found so far? What kind of sources will you need to go look for? OK, that's it.